Hello everyone, it's Kamal and well, today we're gonna talk about Lightroom presets. So what's a Lightroom preset? Well, it's a file that contains lots of predetermined settings. So you have settings for exposure, highlights, shadows, HSL, all the color gubbins, vignetting, grain, and all these things. And so in theory, a preset would be able to take your picture from garbage to stellar in one click. But as everything in life, it's not that simple. So presets can be commonly found all over the internet, from photographers that sell their own presets, like Peter McKinnon, Alan Palander that sell great presets. You can also find them all over YouTube, like people who try to create their own presets, and even make tutorials to follow them. But again, using a preset isn't a one-time job, because if we followed the theory that it would just make your picture stellar just like that, you would not only lose your style, lose your creative flow, but also use your identity as a photographer. So to be able to use a preset to take a picture from this to this, you have to go through the following. The key idea here is to use the preset as a baseline for your edit. So it's kind of like when you have the knife to carve the wood. Now, the knife can be a great tool, but it's not gonna carve the wood by itself. It's gonna be your work. It's kind of the same with presets. So they're really good tools, but you have to know how to use them. And again, the key idea here would be to use it as a baseline for your edit. So use this preset as a point to start and to aim for a specific style. So let's say you wanted this sort of orange and teal style that lots of people are going for on Instagram. There are thousands of presets like that. And so just taking any random one and put it on your pictures, I mean, sure, technically you have an orange and teal picture, but it lacks identity, it lacks style, it's just the standard orange and teal that you can find all over the internet. And so taking this picture and adding your own granular edit to it just makes it that much more personal. And I have a funny story about that. Um, this picture of mine, where I have like this really deep blue tint, well, it didn't come by itself. I experimented with lots of presets that I find on YouTube with like really deep colors from red to purple to blue to green. But none really cut it, except the purple one kind of had the style that I wanted, but it was totally different. So I spent like a few hours working on this to just be able to reuse it later on. Working on it to get this perfect deep dark blue tint with grain and the sort of like really aggressive grungy style that I kind of like in my pictures. And that's how I used this preset. And so, it doesn't always have to be this long and this complicated, but essentially, you should never use the preset just as is, you should really build on top of it and incorporate it in your own style. And that brings us to keeping your creative flow going. You shouldn't use presets as the lazy way, the lazy path. Instead, use it for the tool they really are. For example, since I use Creative Cloud, I have my presets synchronized. I have my presets synchronized with my phone, and so essentially what that means is that wherever I am, I can use the presets that I have saved on my computer as baseline for my edits. And so, no matter where I am, I can still technically edit my pictures in a decent way on my smartphone, simply because I have all the tools at my disposal. And again, you can also really use presets to hone your edge, create your own style, craft it meticulously and start building up your identity with pictures. And I really recommend presets simply because it's a great tool to have at your disposal. And like, keep in mind, it's crazy how this little file can really help you in your photography. But that wraps it up for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me in the comments down below, do you use Lightroom presets? What other videos would you like to see on my channel? Make sure to smash the like button and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Peace out guys.